How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today is a bit of a different video. Well, <laughs> the market is racing up and we're seeing highs that we haven't seen on Bitcoin in what, a year and a half, maybe longer. Some altcoins are moving up too. Uh, I think it's important to talk about security for a moment. This isn't <laughs> this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I just want to go through some of the common scams because I know two people in the last week, week and a half that have lost some of their crypto, not all their crypto, people that have been around in the crypto space for years. And it's because a split second, you can make a decision either in fear or in greed and you can lose your crypto just like that. There are new schemes coming up too. I mean, if you think that scammers aren't smart, <laughs> that's just not the case. So uh, I, I want to go through them for a moment today. I think it's definitely going to be worth your time. Stick through to the end of the video. Hit subscribe if you don't mind. There are also links down there in case you want to trade on Marjax or on Blowfin. With Marjax, you can get some deposit bonuses to cover some fees. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of trading on here myself. And over on Blowfin, you can get the chance to win an iPhone 15 when you sign up and deposit uh, with the link underneath the video. Also, they have a ton of trading pairs. It's just a really good place to trade in general. But let's get into the video. So uh, we have had an explosion in crypto prices, which means that people that are trying to scam you are more motivated than ever to try to scam you because they have more money to take away from you, especially because some people are buying right now. Some people have just accumulated a lot through the bear market. So it's become more profitable than ever. Kind of like when gold's price goes up, they're going to be more miners, right? More people that are trying to mine gold uh, or they're going to try new locations. They're going to be willing to spend more money. Scammers are now willing to spend more money. They're willing to look in more locations. They're willing to come up with more elaborate schemes. So I want to go through five of them right now uh, the first couple you've probably never even heard of uh or it's you haven't thought about them in a long time so someone that i know uh had an nft and they checked on the nft for the first time in a while and it was doing pretty well um they go and look and they have a land pass this is a game that uh, a gaming nft that they had bought and they do stuff like this. They have UFOs, they have uh, land passes, stuff like that. So they go look at the floor price. It's around 0.4 ETH, I believe they said it was, uh, around 0.4 ETH. And they thought, oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll see uh, what this NFT is all about. They go to the website that's listed, um, and it's a land pass. All you have to do is convert it over, and you can get some land in this metaverse. Uh, so. They're getting ready uh, to go to bed. They quick, just go on there, hit uh, convert, and they connect their wallet. Boom, one ETH gone. And their NFT gone. Basically, it drained the wallet of Ethereum and of the NFT, which was getting to be a little bit valuable as well. Um, and all that happened in a split second because they didn't think, okay, did the company actually send me this NFT? Because anyone can send a wallet an NFT. And if they had gone in the Discord, they told me that they actually said that this was a scam ahead of time. So when you're doing anything with uh, the Ethereum network, whenever you're buying new tokens on their website or going through the, the website to get an NFT, or you're going to any DeFi protocol, you have to check to make sure it's the right one. Most of them say, uh, like on the top, they put a banner at like, make sure you're on this website, pancakeswap.io or whatever it is, um, and confirm that ahead of time. But if you move too quickly, you're not paying attention, or you just think, oh, I should convert this because I could make some money. You can lose out. Uh, someone else I know had a Coinbase scam. Basically, they were calling them all day, right? They're calling them, texting them. They finally pick up and they say, hey, your crypto's in trouble. Someone's in your account. And at that point, he knew that someone was probably in his account uh, because he's getting all these messages um, uh, with like information, I believe. I th think they sent them actually information on their account and stuff like that. And the guy's like, basically, hey, I don't trust you. This seems like a scam. But the scammer could tell him anything. He could tell him his information. He could tell him uh, his last transaction. He could tell him where he lived. So he got his personal information and then 
um, the person I know said, oh, okay, well, frick, I, I need to move my crypto off because obviously someone is in my account um, getting all these notifications and stuff that I, I yeah, I'll, I'll go along with you uh, and see what we can do about maybe securing my account. So then the guy said, okay, well, we just need to confirm it to you. Confirm this number I just sent to you. And what he did was he basically tried to do a withdrawal. He was probably in the account, right? Uh, he got in somehow. So he could see all his personal information. He got into his account and uh, tried to do a withdrawal. And he framed it as he needed to verify him to then uh, give him the code that's sent to his phone or uh, in his Google Authenticator. So basically, he approved the transaction when he gave him that code back and yeah, money was drained off the wallet. It happened again with another crypto and then they thought, oh, I just noticed money actually left my wallet. I didn't agree to this. And the guy said, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not scamming you, but if you want to call back, it's going to take hours to get back to Coinbase. But I'm on the phone with you right now. Um, luckily, that person called me uh, and <laughs> in, the, in the moment, right, you're just trying to save yourself money and you get revved up and you don't really know what's happening. But with a clear head, you know that that's a scam. Like he knew that that was a scam, but you know, you get worried enough, you move quickly enough. Someone says the right thing to make you just lower your guard for a second and then boom, your crypto has gone. A couple other ones that are maybe a little bit more well known uh, that are maybe a little bit more old school too. We have posts like this um, where X allows you to do ads, but they won't let you comment on them. That's a big sign that whatever is being advertised or pushed is a scam. Uh, if they can only, if you can only respond based on who they follow or just if you can't respond at all, a lot of the time you'll go to these websites, a lot of airdrops. Uh, there's a lot of stuff about airdrops because it's free money people think and then they go connect their wallet and get it drained um, or nfts those are also if if they have to advertise through like actual twitter ads um, that's probably a bad sign and also uh, if they don't have res any kind of um, replies allowed that's a big red flag too also scam giveaways i know it sounds crazy but there are people that don't know about these like i had someone uh, write me uh, in the uh, comment section about this recently that there were scam giveaways and I should talk about this. Uh, this happened a lot, like in the last three, four years. This has been a big thing, like so and so from Ripple or Elon Musk or uh, Kathy Wood is giving this speech on crypto, and then they say, "Hey, they want to mat, they want to give you some crypto to." support you or to give back, send your crypto to this address and we'll send you double the amount back. They're never going to send you that money back or that crypto back. They're just going to take it. Uh, don't scan like any QR codes or anything like that either. I think this one has a QR code. Uh, yeah, Ripple gives crypto. And a lot of the time you can go downvote this, you can report it. It, got, it does get taken off, but there are so many new ones that get put up in this place. This actually used to be worse it probably will be in the next bull run. There used to be a lot more. Now it's almost harder to find these. But again, like a year and a half ago, there were they were everywhere. Like you could see two or three Elon Musk lives all the time. And you can go track this and people made money from it. The scammers made money. So that's why they continue to do it. Also, they're just scam comments. Scam comments underneath the video trying to get you to trade with them. They're scam YouTubers uh, or they're scam Instagram accounts. There's one of me that someone created that isn't even my name. It's Sam George. This is not me, by the way. Sam George is not me. Uh, I don't know if that's a mix from Cryptos R Us, George and me, but they'll literally take my pictures, put them on the account, and then follow people that I follow. So it looks like maybe I'm following you back or uh, people that follow me, they'll go follow. follow. So it looks like I'm following you back and then they'll ask you how your trade's going, if you want me to trade for you or trade with you, and then they try to get you to send crypto to them. They go after a lot of my family members and my friends too, which is kind of funny because they'll just text me, is this you? And of course it's not me. Why would I ever ask you about your trading? And 
why would I put my name as Sam George? That's weird. Um, but for a lot of people that aren't even interested in crypto, they don't really know what's happening. Um, so that's why they reach out. But people in crypto should know better um, than falling for a lot of these scams. And a lot of the time you will know better, but but in a momentary lapse of judgment, you just won't think about it and then you'll lose your crypto. So I just wanted to bring this video to you to remind you to be safe. There is a link underneath the, the video to Treasure. If you want to sign up or if you want to use that link, you can get 15% off your Treasure device. I literally make nothing from that. Uh, people give me a hard time because they think, oh, don't give us that, that you don't make anything. I, I don't. I've worked with them on full videos to explain how to set up treasures and how to trade or how to send crypto in and out. So I just took that as my payment to try to get as many people to buy a cold storage wallet device because it's safer. Uh, I just took 0% in the affiliate commission. So by saying this, I make nothing. I, I make nothing if you get one, but it does support the channel because maybe they'll hire me to do more videos in the future, right? So check that out underneath the video if you want that discount. Also, there are the links to Marjex and to Blowfin in case you want to trade on leverage or just trade in general. You can check out those links. It does support the channel as well. Uh, they have some giveaways as well, like I said. But yeah, just be careful out there. I want to be clear, you can still get scammed out of your crypto if your crypto is on something like a treasure, but it's much harder for people. You don't have as easy access to it. You you realize it's safer so you probably won't move as quickly if they try to scam you and you'll think more logically so consider moving over some more crypto to a treasure i think i'll be doing that again this week uh just you know you buy some you accumulate some you should probably move it over there thank you so much i appreciate it. i'll see you in the next video bye